Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about The Golden Bachelor, Episode Two. Y'all thought I was gone. Mm-hmm. Y'all thought Blair was gone. Y'all thought we was gone and that we was gone for good from Bachelor Nation after we just got our membership. You thought we was going to leave that easily? We almost did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, you know, this right now. We almost did. I'm happy to be back. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, share all the above. We are about to review this new show, this new series, Mm -hmm. The Golden Bachelor. I don't think it ever been done before. Nope. And guess who is qualified to review this new show? (laughs) Us. I hope so. Because we said so. Yes. Walk (laughs) us through it, Blair. All right. Well, just to touch base on the first episode, yeah, yeah. we just met all the ladies. Um, Faith was the one who stood out and got the um, the first rose, the mm-hmm. first impression rose. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for this episode, the ladies are finding their rooms mm-hmm. and uh, there's bunk beds. Uh, mm. One lady said that she had knee replacements, so she can't be going up and down the bunk beds. I don't know why they would do that to these. No, ABC, why are you doing that? Exactly. Why are you doing that? doing that mm-hmm. making these women get into bunk bed they are 66 not six <laughs> okay <laughs> continue bro. well jesse greets the ladies mm-hmm. and he shows them the card and he places it on the table mm-hmm. and a lady says what is that mm. what is that <laughs> <laughs> and he says it's a day card she said you gonna read it and he's like <laughs> one of y'all are gonna read it and i'm just like yeah you sound like me lady <laughs> With, with charity last season what is that no some, what are we doing here sometimes the simplest questions is the smartest ones mm-hmm. don't don't just come in here say hi to us drop something on the table and moonwalk out the table tell us what it is read it to us you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying go ahead good to you well Teresa's name gets called for the date mm-hmm. and um she tells us a little bit that she married her high school sweetheart and he has passed away mm-hmm Well, Gary picks her up from Mm -hmm. the house and he is driving to the date. His headlights aren't working. Mm. They have a drop top. Her hair is going all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit chaotic. And this is also his first time driving in California on the freeway. So he's pretty nervous. He says he can't see the highway markings. And she reaches over to rub his shoulder. And that really, you could see in his whole facial expression and body, signals that he was actually relaxed and relieved by that and i was like okay that was really sweet did you almost cry seeing, watching that i didn't cry seeing that but i was like that that was sweet i'm glad that she like let him know like they were okay let me rain on y'all parade a little bit okay all right bachelor nation how are you my name is chris right first of all let's start with this little bump bay situation this is what i'm looking forward to y'all thought that like you know bachelor nation or like the bat or maybe the bachelorette to where the guys go have something against each other and things like that or like the contestants go have something against each other there's no attitude like an old person okay the fact that you got these people rooming together we are going to see a lot of old people attitudes mm-hmm. one thing that they said that they are stuck in their ways so a lot of this you are going to see of that. You are going to see a lot of passive aggressiveness or even aggressive aggressiveness because that's what old folks do. Mm-hmm. Also, I think it was Teresa's birthday or something like that. It, 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 it was something nice that they went on a date. Mm-hmm. And I don't even know if the headlights was broken more than he didn't know how to turn it on. Why didn't someone turn it on for that man before they pulled off? True. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Now, how would that look when you got the Golden Bachelor getting in a car accident? On the freeway of California because he can't see. Mm -hmm. And who idea was it that it'd be a drop top? Mm -hmm. ABC. Come on now. We not going to do it this season now. (laughs) Y'all ain't going to have me on (laughs) on here for 10 episodes yelling at Mm y'all. But I did think him being nervous that she did put her hands on on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. Um, For him to calm down as well. Probably for herself. She probably was scared too. Mm -hmm. Um, That was a good moment. Um, to show that, oh, okay, you know, like that, that was a nice moment. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, they get to the diner Uh and (coughs) Teresa is expressing that she didn't expect to like him, but she felt a connection when she saw him and she brings up her deceased husband, Billy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's been, um, 
deceased for eight years now Mm -hmm. and he felt like he was uh gary felt like he was talking to someone who understood the loss of his spouse yeah it didn't make him feel sad um talking Mm -hmm. about that it was actually like a connection point for them yeah now now that now that could Mm -hmm. be a connection point for a lot of them though yeah because a lot of their spouses is um, have gone on to pass away. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that was intentional. Do like you feel like that was intentional, knowing that that's how um, that's what happened with Gary, and that's basically his story about how his wife passed away. Do you think that was like an intentional thing for for, for them to bring up for them to find contestants of like of basically widows and things like that? Not necessarily. Um, I think I think probably so. a lot of older people at that age have been married. You know, so I don't think it was so much intentional as just kind of like these people have lived life, you know. Yeah, I, I think it was intentional that a good number of them mm-hmm. are, are widows. Are, are widows. Yeah, okay. because he is a uh, because he is a widower. I think. Widower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think that was a uh, very intentional on ABC part. Yeah. Mm hmm. And they both agree that they don't want to be lonely. Mm-hmm. He does say that he has a good group of friends, but just like, you know, if you're admiring a sunset, you want to share that with your loved one, right. you want to go home and just have someone to talk to, like he misses that. Mm-hmm. And so does she. And um, he feels calm with her. Then all of a sudden we get flash mob. Listen here, man. <laughs> I thought we were on an actual date. I didn't know that these are you. all actors in the building. Was the food even good? Listen here, you're right, Blake, because I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> I was watching it and I was like, you know what? This dude, this dude feel like a real date, even though it is a diner in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Fine. You know what I mean? Um, it did feel like a real date, some depth, you know what I mean? And maybe it's more depth because um, they're older. So they have more life to actually recall and things like that on mm-hmm. both their parts. And of course, you're talking about um, the loss of a loved one. So there's nothing like um, talking about how much you don't want to be lonely and that um, you're telling a story about how your late husband died, about how, you know, his kidneys failed and and you get a call and you run home and you was there to see his last dying breath. Then I know it. People jump on the table. <laughs> I, um, and the lady with the skirt. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm like, y'all almost got me. <laughs> Y'all almost got me. I'm like, I forgot I was watching The Bachelor. Exactly. You know this is a production. It's not just a dating show. A- ABC was like, enough of that. <laughs> Believe. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow. And it can be a little bit overkill for me. The fact overkill. that. Overkill. I was dead. Because <laughs> Gary was like, because he said, you know, sometimes, you know, you got to keep on believing. And, and then that, that, that was the cue. Exactly. That's, that's what somebody playing the piano in the background. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, we want to. Uh, emphasize the fact that as you're older you can still believe in love and have love but I'm just like can y'all treat these people like regular people as no, well? No we cannot do this as a, <laughs> a, 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 Listen here We gotta make it known that they're old and they deserve to have love Listen here. Okay. Let can they just be this. people who deserve to have love? I am underestimating and listen everybody who used to comment on the Bachelorette I need y'all back in these comments because I got some answers. I, I, yes, got, Shanice, I got some questions. Come on back I need all of y'all right? Mm-hmm. One thing that I do not give ABC or I should say the Bachelorette, the Bachelor, all that. Do you know that the opening of of the Golden Bachelor was like almost like 50 million people watched this? Mm. And Dave is like, just because a lot of people watching it, I feel like ABC feel like it's their duty Mm -hmm. to put on a production. Yeah. To put on a dance, to put on a number. You know what (laughs) I mean? I don't know why they thought at that moment when they was in that moment sitting at that window sharing a milkshake doing all the you know the uh the date things the date things yeah and then the music started playing i don't know why they thought that was a good time for a number mm-hmm. but it did snap me out of reality and be like oh yeah i am watching <laughs> a, a game show yeah you know, a tv show continue mm-hmm. blair go ahead well there is a rose <coughs> on the car and he ends Who up the hand- hell put that there <laughs> <laughs> and he ends up handing her the rose the the date went wonderful oh uh, man that that was funny yeah next we move on to the group date yeah walk me through it and it's a romance novel cover shoot mm-hmm. and um the women have to go and pick the different outfits. There are 
uh, wedding dresses, mm-hmm. their 70s outfits, mm-hmm. and I think there's like 80s kind of rocker moto jacket vibes. You're right. So uh, one of the women wanted a 70s outfit, but Natasha ended up going and grabbing it before her. Mm. So she had to wear a moto jacket and she was just kind of upset because she didn't feel it really represented her. Mm. And we get to the bride group mm-hmm. uh, and Nancy is crying. Uh, Nancy hasn't had a wedding dress on since she got married Mm -hmm. and it brought back just all of the emotions and the best day of her life was marrying her husband. He passed away 12 years ago. Listen, I think that that's, I think that just, you go find that story. I find throughout a lot of people's, uh, background. Mm -hmm. Um, did I feel bad at that moment? I don't know because it caught me by surprise. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should ask you, how did like you feel in that moment when you saw Nancy? Um, I felt sad for her because I'm sure she didn't expect to put on a wedding dress and just get flooded with those emotions of her marriage and her husband and just the life they built together. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I felt sad that she had to go through that. Yeah, it, it was just strange like to go from watching these old people run to a clothing rack. Mm hmm trying to get to whatever piece of clothing before anybody else mm. to seeing her cry over um, emotions that basically triggered a, a memory for her at that one of the best memories of her life Yeah, that made her probably remember probably one of the worst days of her life, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so um, I think if I was to do a comparison already with episode two of the golden bachelor, there's already more, um, I don't want to use the, I don't want to keep using the word depth substance. But, yeah, more mm-hmm. substance than 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 the Bachelorette so far. Where where it was with 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 season two. Mm-hmm. I mean, not not season with charity two. season with charity season mm-hmm. last season. Um, because you actually like these are real emotions. Um, that I did not expect. Mm-hmm. I really did not expect. I'm thinking like these people are, um. Not newly widowed, but like you know, like 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 you know, like I'm sure I'm sure they've been there for a while. You kind of get over it, but even 12 years ago, when when her husband passed away, it it put her back in that place. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was actually a good thing to see. Um, I wonder how Gary's going to react once he sees this. Yeah. Go ahead. And side note, um, I don't know what kind of photographer they chose, but that those pictures were coming out horrible. Listen here. <laughs> they were looking like pictures on the phone. Production. That's all it was. <laughs> That's all it was. Like they were not good photos. Anyway, well, Gary, he pulls Nancy to the side and talks to her. She mm-hmm. shares the emotion she had was about the wedding dress. He didn't know if he had offended her or if it mm-hmm. was something with the other ladies. Um, and then Gary shares that it was a moment where he was smelling cinnamon at a bakery and it actually tore him up because it brought him back to when his wife used to make cinnamon balls. Mm. Um, and she says that she was sad, but at the same time, like she's hopeful to find that love. Nice. Again. Nice. And um, Gary's enjoying the group date. Um, Leslie shared that she's a softie and really likes Gary. Mm-hmm. Um, and she has two ear- hearing aids like Gary. Okay, Gary. And she says, you can whisper me sweet nothings. And he does. And she don't tell us what it is. But she get to k- kiss it on his cheek. She probably didn't hear him. <laughs> I think she did. <laughs> okay. And um, then at the end of the group date, Gary chooses to give Nancy the rose. The one that was crying. The only thing I want to say about Gary and his choices, I think Gary is a very, he seems like a very stand-up, commendable dude. But. But. I know a butt was coming. But I need him to choose people based off who he really likes and connects with. I don't need you to just be giving people roses to make them feel better. Nope. That's what we go do. No. Like, choose people you're really connecting with. And maybe he is, like, when they have these situations. But I'm like. We don't believe I thought you was feeling faith for real. From, from, from the first episode. Yeah. Yeah. But no, like you know, she, she, she ain't got nobody who did. Okay. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 so I'm not feeling her. Listen here, at this moment, listen here, Gary. I'm just gonna tell you something, brother man. Don't be the other man. Mm. Don't let these women's psalm stories put you in the tuzzy. Mm. You know what I mean? That got you over here giving out roses, giving out sympathy roses because you know your wife has gone. So guess what? Just just beware of that. I'm not saying that we're going to make a habit of this. Nancy, you get your rose this week, but next week you got to get yourself together, sweetheart, okay? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because you know what? Everybody, more people got that story. Mm-hmm. So we got to connect on something more than, oh, your spouse died too? 
Mm-hmm. We got to connect on something. Yeah. Are we compatible? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? More than, you know, trauma bonding. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Go ahead. Next, it is Gary's birthday. He comes into the house for a cocktail uh, party to get mm-hmm. to know the ladies. Okay. And the house is really quiet. Nobody's there. Mm-hmm. And he walks into the backyard and they surprise him surprise for Gary. his birthday. And Susan pops out of a cake and okay. she snatches him up. Mm. <laughs> and so she talks to him first. And their conversation is pretty much just about her cooking. And she cooked in the house and she was talking about that. Okay. And um, throughout the cocktail uh, party, everyone snags Gary and tries to show different sides of their personalities Facts. just to stand out. Facts. And Faith is starting to get worried that she's not keeping up with the other ladies because she didn't even get to go on the group date. Mm. And um, talk, he's talking to another woman about her deceased spouse. I mean, this is like the topic of conversation that keeps going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's all good now because we in episode two. Mm-hmm. But after we get off of the past yeah, and 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 the ones that passed on, mm-hmm. we need something to connect on presently. Yeah, for the future. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Well, Gary sits down with Ellen uh-huh. and he gives her a picture of them together and it's framed. And Ellen says that she feels really special and she hasn't felt that special in a long time. That's good for you. Ellen. Only thing I want to say about this Uh-oh. is Gary is going to be breaking these ladies hearts. Listen here, man. Like bad because Listen. they are really hoping and wishing for this man to be their man because they're like, oh, wow, he's so great. I think I can do love again. But Gary's only going to be with one person. Listen here. Age. Age is not going to stop me from giving objective criticism. If you think you could do life with somebody who you just met, true, episode two, mm-hmm. you are sick. Okay, oh, goodness. <laughs> like, like, like you need to you need to keep your thoughts to yourself. Mm-hmm. Like you, you could give external compliments, like, oh, he's handsome, mm-hmm. um, he's a nice guy. But how do you supposed to know based off the setting, the second meeting, rather, that you could do life with somebody? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if it's more of um, you know yourself more because you're older and you're like, hey, listen here. I just need somebody to basically be here with me while we basically transition to the last part of our lives. Maybe, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe that's very different than, let's say, somebody who is younger on these game shows or dating shows Mm -hmm. and saying that, um, oh, I'm I'm in love with this person. Yeah. Maybe for this age group, it is about loneliness. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is about just having somebody there. Yeah, companionship. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, if I fall, can can like can like you hear me holler? Mm-hmm. You get know what I'm saying? So, um, listen here. A lot of this process is going to change these women when they feel their heartbreak. And guess what? It's going to change Gary too, mm-hmm. because you saying that. Um, a lot of these women hearts gonna be broken. I don't think Gary's the type of guy that like breaking hearts. No, I don't think so. Either. So I think it's hard for him too. And that's and, but in the genuine genuine way. When Charity uh, was like hooting and hollering when oh she was breaking boy. up with people, that was a lot. Yeah, I, it was just too much. I don't know. It didn't feel genuine. Yeah. No offense, Charity. With Gary, Gary looked like you know this is the this is the origin villain story right here. You yeah. know, it like 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 he was a good guy, and then all of a sudden <laughs> he started breaking hearts. Yeah, and now all of a sudden women don't like you know like we'll see though. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's let's continue. Yes. Well, we get to the rose ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. Gary calls all the women his friends. And the fact that they're all friends is making this all very difficult. Um, He appreciates everyone and has Mm. high and strong feelings for them all. Stop it, Gary. We only got a limited amount of roses, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Well, he calls Leslie, Uh Joan, Uh Edith, Mm. Ellen, Mm. Sandra, Mm -hmm. Susan, Mm -hmm. Christina, Mm. Faith. Oh, Faith. April mm-hmm. and Kathy. Listen here. Natasha, <laughs> I knew you was going home. I'm actually surprised you made it past week one, to be honest. Before, he didn't even kiss her when she when she, they did something together. and He hugged her a couple times. Listen here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no kissing. Ain't no kissing. Listen here. Um, I'm very interested on in what's going to happen throughout this, se- this series, this season. Um, what did you think overall? about this episode and what do you foresee happening uh blair throughout this season that we about to watch um just with this episode i just found it really entertaining i mm-hmm. do like the substance and the depth that we're getting with these women and because with gary older, right? yeah mm-hmm. like i felt like everything was just so surface level um you know the 
because the other bachelor the one with charity was the first one we actually watched all the way through Mm -hmm. and it was just so like staged you know you're pretty mm -hmm. you're pretty yeah 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 and for this i do see the stage moments but i actually see the real connections here Mm -hmm. so that's something i'm just looking forward to is to see how like deep we're gonna get and to see how like strong these connections grow um in the future um I don't know. I feel like Gary, he just seems to be someone who would just hold a space in his heart for like each of these women. So I think it's really going to tear him up to let people go because I think he's really going to genuinely care about like all of them. I think we've seen that at the end of the ceremony. Like yeah. he, he was a little shaken up mm-hmm. because he was like, he, th- that, that's not one of the parts he, that's not one of his favorite parts to do. Yeah. To, to send these women home. Um, but that's part of the show, Gary. Yeah. And I'm sure the more you do it, the more easier it will get, mm-hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, you trying to find somebody to love for you as well, you mm-hmm. know, and anybody who's in the way of that, they got to go. Yeah. Um, What I'm looking forward to this season, I'm just looking forward to the relationship amongst the women. Mm. I want to see how old people uh, get along people that they they lived on their own for so long and now they forced to live in a house together for weeks let's see how they get along let's see some of the I feel like you want to see how they fight mm. <laughs> let's hear some of the insults you know what i'm saying let's see let's see them roll around or something like that oh. you know what i mean that's that's something i'm looking forward to mm-hmm. and i'm looking forward to gary of hey listen here no more mr nice guy mm. there will be a time where you there will be conflict and you won't be able to nice your way out of it. Yeah. Will you be able to be stern if you're disrespected? Will you be able to confront disrespect? How? What does not not nice Gary look like? And that doesn't mean that Gary is mean. Or that doesn't mean that he's going to show his mean self. I just want to know how does Gary look when he is confronted with conflict? Mm. How does he deal with that? Mm. You know, he can't. Everybody's not your friend there. I know you say that to be nice, but everybody's not your friend. And guess what? There may be some people that won't treat you friendly. Yeah. So how will you react to that? Anything else on the show? No. Mm-mm. Bachelor Nation, I'm back. Bachelor Nation, Blair's back. We are your Bachelor Nation pro review show. Okay. <laughs> Self proclaimed. Yes. Don't fight us on it. Well, don't fight me. <laughs> Y'all be good. Bye.